Hi guys, it's Peter Tennis with Noreen here, and I'm here to do a book review on Hourglass by Myra McIntyre. The synopsis of this book is the story is based on a 16 year old girl called Emerson who sees and interacts with ghosts from the past or ripples as she likes to call them. And after being hospitalised, uh, pumped medicine that created that made her act like a vegetable for the better parts of her years, and soon after her parents' death, she returns to her hometown Ivy Springs to live with her brother, her older brother, and his wife. Her brother, older brother has forever tried to contact uh, consultants who can help Emerson with her abilities. Everyone else thinks that she's experienced a long-term mental breakdown um, after her parents' death and hasn't really fully recovered. Uh, but Thomas knows otherwise. He knows that she's not crazy, but she sees ghosts, she sees actual things from the past. So he wants to help her, and, he, and all the consultants he's brought so far have been kind of a hoax or fake or not worked. This one consultant that he brings, however, changes everything. He's from an, a company called the Hourglass, hence the title Hourglass, and his name is Michael. But at first, Emerson is a bit apprehensive, you know, another consultant, another hoax consultant who just all they're interested in just getting Thomas's money. However, when she sees him, she's instantly drawn to him and not only does she start to have feelings for him, but she finds that he also shares her gift at looking at being able to see these ripples or ghosts. Not only that, but she finds out that she has other untapped abilities, such as time travelling, which is what the book is mostly about. So the review of this book. Emerson, she's an okay character. I mean, she's not I wouldn't say she's a heroine as such, but she's like an okay character. I mean, you know, she's she's small but yet strong. She goes out of her way to do things that other people wouldn't really expect her to do. She puts she puts her life at risk. Um, but there's nothing really that I can say about her. She's quite like a dull and a boring character for me. I mean, I think it's because I've read so many YA books and all the female characters there, there's something special about them. But for Emerson, there's nothing really special. I mean, if you cast aside that she can see ghosts from the past and she's able to time travel. Other than that, she's just like a normal teenage girl. And I, my opinions about her is that she's an okay character. I mean, she's likeable, but kind of very boring. Uh, the main guy in this book is Michael. At first, I thought, whoa a new guy character. He was hot, he was mysterious, he was this new kid on the block that vied every girl's attention. However, as the story progressed, he became almost too good to be true. I know that kind of sounds a bit crazy since this is a fiction book and nearly everything in all fiction books are unreal. However, it just didn't make him an, a realistic character and there are times when I thought I became really angry at him because he switched his emotions towards Emerson really quickly from desire to, stubborn, to stubbornness to just plain angry at the most silly things. And he wanted to be a hero in every single situation which kind of really got me annoyed. The relationship between Michael and Emerson it's okay. I mean, again, there are funny bits towards the relationship. It does start off as a forbidden relationship and, you know, something really hot, but after that it just kind of goes, dies down. I mean, it was a very boring relationship, to be to be honest. The, pl the bit that I was disappointed about most, it was the plot. It just seems that the author, Myra, just wanted to try to fit in as many fancy words as possible to make this kind of like a clever plot about time travelling. She used a lot of combination of sci-fi aspects and supernatural aspects that didn't really mesh too well together. Um, it just seemed at too technical. Um, the plot just seemed really silly at times and there are students in this book who also have these unnatural abilities but the abilities that they had or the powers that they had was just really was really forgettable. It didn't really stand out, and they're really silly powers as well. To be honest, the students themselves they're not really memorable characters. Uh, other than Emerson and Michael, the other students they didn't really stand out as well. There's one character though, Caleb, uh, which is a slightly life love triangle in this book between Caleb, Emerson, and Michael. He's the only one that kind of stood out because he is one of the main characters, and that's why Myra kind of particularly added more descriptions about him and more things about his past. Other than that, the, all the other students, they kind of washed away in the background. Just didn't really have any substance to it. Um, because of that, I've given this book a 3.5, oh, there's a little finger coming up, 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's an okay book, 
but I was expecting more of this because I heard a lot of good reviews about this I just didn't really live up to my standards apparently in the second book called Time Peace it's not as good as this book it's told in the in the character Caleb's narration while this was told in Emerson's narration uh, check out all the links down below and I'll see you soon bye